Hi, in this particular video we're looking at probability trees and we're given the question that Carrie has two bags. In bag A there are five white counters and three blue. So in other words there's eight counters altogether in bag A and in bag B there's six counters of which three are white and three are blue. So Carrie takes a random one counter from each bag. So please do stop the video, have a go at answering each of the questions. Okay, so the first bit of it is complete the probability tree diagram. Well, very helpfully, it already tells us that the probability of white is actually five out of eight. So that's correct, isn't it? There's five white and then there's eight counters altogether. So therefore, the probability of blue must be that there are three out of eight counters altogether. OK, let's have a look at what happens in bag B. Now, because this is a probability tree, we need to have a look at duplicating the information. So what we're going to do is we're looking at white and blue. And it is helpful to draw these in the same order each time. OK, because when we come to actually writing the outcomes in order to answer the rest of the question, it's helpful to make sure that they look or that they're, they're easy to work across. So let's have a look then at bag B. OK, there's six counters altogether, of which three are white and three are blue. So we can write three out of six for actually for each of these probability branches. So three out of six. OK, hopefully that's all right for you. So that would complete the probability tree diagram. Part of the rest of the question then is find the probability that both counters will be blue. Well, in order to do that, what we need to do firstly is look at the actual outcomes. OK, and the advantage of having these sorts of diagrams is it's relatively straightforward then to follow the branches through. So the first one would be white, white. The second one would be white, blue. The third would be blue, white. And the fourth would be blue, blue. And it's actually the blue, blue one that I'm going to be interested in. But hopefully you can see what I've done is I've just followed along that branch. So in bag A, uh, Carrie picked out a blue. And then in bag B, she picked out a blue again. OK, so hopefully that's all right for you. So to find the probability that both counters will be blue, what we do is we take the probability of the first one and then we multiply it by the probability of the second one. So blue, blue is going to be three over eight multiplied by three over six, which is going to give us nine over 48, which does actually answer the question. That's perfectly fine. If you prefer, you can simplify that. It's kind of good practice to simplify the fraction if you can, but it's not being asked in the question. So don't worry about it. You won't lose any marks if you don't, unless it says so. OK, the final part of this is find the probability that only one only one of the counters will be white. OK, only one. That's the important thing is that what we're interested in then is going to be these two probabilities because this is white and blue and this is blue and white. So these two probabilities are what we're interested in. So let's have a look at working out. Firstly, white blue. So again, as we did before, probability of white on bag A is 5 eighths, on bag B is going to be 3 6. So we multiply that together, we're going to get 15 out of 48. OK, let's have a look then at blue white. So that would be the next one is blue white. Well, blue first bag is 3 eighths. And the second bag is going to be 3, 6. Multiply that together, we're going to get 9, 48. OK, so to work out the probability that only one of the counters will be white, what we do is we add these together. So 15 plus 9 is going to be 24. So that's going to be 24 out of 48. Again, that answers the question. It's perfectly fine, although it's good to reduce it 
to a half, okay? Just to tighten, tidy that up a little bit. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other videos within this particular playlist. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.